If you are a content creator like myself, you more than likely are always on the search to find a new tool that is gonna help you make better videos and speed up your process. And in my opinion, one of the best tools that you can use in your post-production workflow is Wondershare Filmora. In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of their, in my opinion, revolutionary AI tools that they have, and I will show you how you can use them and implement them in your own workflow. So let's get started. And what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Julian, I'm a content creator and I'm an entrepreneur and I love talking about AI tools so let's do it in this video as well. In the past if you have been following this channel already you know that I have been making a lot of videos about Wondershare Filmora already which is this tool that I have on my screen right here and they have been absolutely crushing it in the last couple of I would actually say in the last couple of years when it comes to implementing AI tools. I think they are by far the most advanced video editing tool that you can use as of recording of this video in late 2025. Like for example, the AI portrait cutout. If you wanted to cut out um, someone dancing like this in the past, this would have been like a task for an entire week and then it would still probably look very shitty. And with Wondershare Filmora, you can do this in like a minute or so. Also, the planar tracking is really cool. AI extends. So there are many, many, cool features and by the way Filmora does also have a free trial so you can literally just try it out for free at no cost I will make sure that I link this down below but as I mentioned before in this video um, I'm going to show you some of my personal favorite features um, that I'm using in my content creation um, you know workflow and these are also some features that are extremely new and that have just been released with the newest update so they're really like grand spanking new um, one of the features um, because um, besides being an entrepreneur and making these silly YouTube videos I do also make a lot of corporate videos and very often we need some animated graphs and in the past this was always a pain because we had to search on the internet buy a preset then work on that in After Effects so that was always a pain and now they have built in these animated charts right here directly into the software. You can see you have a bunch of different presets that you can choose from and basically all you need to do is you just need to go here to data and there you could either um, type in your data manually so for example I don't know if you wanted to like in this case case we have um, the year then the country and then the uh, population and you can see like how this is changing and this is like a massive uh, CSV file that was imported and we could of course change that manually or we could also just go here to click um, click to upload an XLSX which is an Excel file basically or a CSV file which is the industry standard for yeah, basically anything and then you could just upload it um, for example if you wanted to track I don't know like in, in a corporate environment for example if I wanted to track like the revenue growth from like starting in this case uh, 1960 all the way up to 2025 and I wanted to change or follow the revenue growth um, all I would need to do is just go here uh, import this CSV file then it's automatically gonna you know import everything I do not have a CSV file right now and by the way you can also let ChatGPT create the CSV file for you so um, then all you need to do is you can change the color palette you can change the main font you can also change the bars um, in case you wanted to have them you know you wanted to have them smaller or or wider like whatever that you want whatever um that you think looks um of course also you could change the yeah you can basically change anything here you could of course also change like how this is looking in case you wanted to have it in you know in this style or in that style like again whatever that floats your specific project um and then in the, i think in this case this looks really cool you could also make this bright like in a corporate environment this is probably something that i would use and then once i'm happy i could just go here to add to timeline then the ai um the algorithm in the work uh, in the background is just going to do its magic and then I will be able to have uh, this directly in my timeline and the really cool thing is I can also adapt it afterwards so in case I don't know like the numbers are changing like especially when you're working with corporates with like big uh, publicly listed big uh, businesses oftentimes something is changing last minute so you can just go here to edit and then for example if you wanted to change some data like I don't know this was I don't know there was like a wrong number you could just change it like this and then you're basically basically good to go. Same thing also applies to um, colors and to like the optical stuff, like in case you wanted to change, I don't know, the labels or like the font or the background or anything. Um, you could just change it right here also afterwards after you have done it already. And again, then once you're done, just click to add to timeline and then you have it right here and then you're basically good to go and you can get started. So this is a brand new feature. Number one, I really like this. And if you're doing some kind of a corporate work or also if you're doing some kind of courses and stuff where you just need, um, you know, some 
animated stuff that just looks really cool. This is definitely a really cool add on. All right. So the next new feature I want to show you is dynamic captions with AI. So I have just imported um, this clip right here, which is not um, like it's not a short form clip, but I just wanted to use this as a sample just to show you like how this is working. Just going to cut it off here just so that you do not have to wait as long. And especially if you're doing some short form videos, um, you know that it's crucially important that you have subtitles built in or baked into your video because most people are actually watching the videos without audio. So if you do not have captions, people don't know what you're talking about, so they won't watch it and then you're just losing the viewer. And of course, all the other editing software as well has tons of features when it comes to captions. But what I think is really cool with Filmora is that you have animated stuff and that you have lots of presets. So all we need to do is just go here to titles um, and then we can go to AI captions and then dynamic captions. And then um, you can see we can pick between the entire timeline sequence or just a simple clip. We could also detect the language automatically or just dial in what we want. And we could also let it translate. So a couple of different options. In this case, I'll just leave everything at the stock settings. And then you can see in the background, it's just like analyzing everything and it's working in the background and it's just, you know, doing its magic, making sure that we um, have a properly done uh, transcript of everything that we have or that I have set in this video. And then after like just a couple of seconds, like it was like 30 seconds or so, then you can see we have our subtitles already baked in. This is now like super small and you can barely read it, but it is already animated. And even with the stock settings, it is already stylizing it. But of course, um, we can adapt it to whatever that we want. All we need to do is just select like some portion of the clip. Then we can go over here to templates. And then you can see we have a bunch of different um, templates that we can pick from. Like you can see these are like tons of different um, presets that you have. So I'm sure you're going to find something that you like. Um, either you want to have something that's like very colorful. In my opinion, that's a little bit too much, but yeah, you might like that. Um, or it might also be like something a little more simple, like this white box. Um, I, I actually like this. Um, I also like the, the size and everything. And then if I'm happy with that, I can just click to apply to all, apply. And then you can see um, we have our subtitles baked into the video and it looks very cool. It's very accurate. And other tools actually, you know, with Premiere Pro, for example, you cannot do something like this built in. You would have to buy another add-on tool that's going to be multiple hundred bucks per year. So it's really cool that you have that baked in directly into Filmora. All right. So the next feature I want to show you is called AI Extend. And the theory behind this is very simple. So I have a clip right here of a uh, golden retriever looking cute. And, um, you know, we have this shot. But this is something that happens very often if you're, you know, if you're doing some, again, corporate work or some documentary stuff or whatever it might be, is that you're capturing B-roll, but sometimes you just shoot too little. You know, if the time is limited, if you don't have enough time to capture enough footage, sometimes you will just end up with having too little B-roll shots. And then it's like really difficult to make a final video that actually looks good. What you can do with uh, Filmora is you can use the power of AI to extend the clip. So you can see like this is the entire video. If I wanted to extend it, it's like, you know, it's gone. Like there is not more. We could try to slow it down, but this is already slowed down and we don't have enough frames per second. So what we can do is you can see here there is a new new button and this is basically the AI extend and what we can do now is we can just uh, grab this right here and just extend this and then we can actually um, just type in a prompt on what the like expansion should be and then we could do something like I don't know zoom out the dog starts barking and jumping around. I don't know. Let's see if this is going to work. Um, we can just click here on generate and you can see this is now doing its magic in the background. Again, it depends on the clip that you have. If you have human beings inside of it uh, or if you have like just a static shot, I think if you just have like a shot of, I don't know, a building or something like this, it's going to work really well. But let's see how this is going to perform. Again, you can see here it's doing its magic in the background. It's already at 30 percent. And this is also something that in my opinion is really cool with Filmora is that the work workflow is super fast. Like there are no long waiting times and it's not like a, a super slow program. It's like really, really damn fast. And yeah, let's see how the final result is going to look like. All right. So now like after I think three minutes or so, we now have our final result and let's see um, what this is looking like. So this is the original and now we have the AI generated and you can see the dog is jumping around and is he also barking? Um, yeah, there is no sound here, but yeah, I think this looks actually like really, really 
realistic and I think nobody can tell that this was um, created with AI. So um, I think maybe like the transition is a little harsh and there's something with um, with this light flare going on. So that's like maybe not 100% perfect. We could try to just fade this with like a very basic dissolve transition. So that might be something that you could just try to, yeah, no, that was too much. But yeah, maybe like a jump cut or so like that's that's just a thing. Yeah, I think that's better now already. But um, overall, like really cool that you can just um, like expand the clip with AI. I think the pro or like the, the model that they're using in the background is VO3, which by far hands down is my personal favorite way of making these super hyper realistic um, videos with AI. And as you can see, it works really well. It works a treat. And this might actually save a, pro a project that you have shot where you just captured too little footage. Another brand new feature that Filmora has released with this update is the pen tool. And again, I have just now um, taking this video clip right here. And in case you wanted to highlight something or have like, I don't know, a cool effect or something like this. Also, especially for product videos, you know, if you have like a product on like a, a turning table and you want to emphasize like how beautiful it looks or something like this. Um, this is something where this can be handy, but I'm just going to show you how this works. All you need to do is just click on the pen tool right here. And then you can see um, this pen tool is opening up here and you can just draw a mask on like however that you wanted to have it. So you could make this bow something like this. I'm not like the most talented guy when it comes to drawing, but I think you get the picture here. So it might be something like this. And then after we're done, after we're happy with what we have created, um, we can just go here to the um, to this shape area right here. And we could just select like some kind of a preset, you know, something like this or like sparkle, like whatever that fits your project the best. So you could just pick something like this. You could change the radius. Um, you could change the, you know, a couple of different settings, change the end note. Um, you could feather it a little more. You could um, feather it less. You can change the color intensity, like everything that you want. And then you can also create an animation with uh, basically it's just like a couple of um, a couple of keyframes that you're using here. So what you're doing here is I'm just going to put this to zero. Um, then I add a keyframe Then I go to this area right here. Then I go to um, zero. Now it's adding all of the keyframes automatically. And now if we play it back, you can see we have this beautiful animation. Um, of course, you could um, I think especially also here with a static shot of like, again, a product on a turning table or something like this, you would have like the, the effect would be a little bit cooler. Or also if you wanted to have like, I don't know, if you want to draw in like a, a route of like, I don't know, I went from, I don't know, Austria to Bali and you can just draw in like a line and have this animation here or also for Uber use to some uh, some similar animation like this to just show like this is the the path that your car is going to go. So um, really cool, really simple and you can change everything right in here. Um, no need for any external tool or something like this. So um, really cool that this is all built in. So these are some of the new features that Filmora has added recently. But generally speaking, like also the stickers and also all of the templates that they are having uh, right uh, built in directly into here. Um, it's just just really cool. Like also, if you compare this to, I don't know, Premiere Pro, Final Cut or something like this, if you wanted to have all of these presets, like you would have to download them externally and pay for them. And this is all built in directly into your membership. So I think this is really cool. Also, the fact that this is all, um, you know, segmented into what you want. I don't know if you wanted to have a cinematic intro, then you will just find a couple of different versions. And all you need to do is just insert your text and your, you know, whatever that you want. Or in case you wanted to have a countdown, again, this is also something like if we recently had something like this or I wanted to add something like this for a live webinar, I had to download this externally and this is all built in here. So this is really cool. Um, also the stickers and basically everything that they have, it's just like really cool, really simple, really fast to edit in case you wanted to highlight something of like, hey, take a look at this. Um, super fast, super simple. And yeah, also like all of the AI features that they have built in. Yeah, it's just really cool. And as, again, what I mentioned before, like you can try it out for free. So in case you are looking looking for a new editor, make sure you give it a shot like you got nothing to lose. And yeah, I think this is like the best beginner friendly software that you can use, period. Again, huge thanks also to Filmora for supporting the channel. We have been a long term partner and I always love to show their products because I love to implement it into our own workflow. Um, I will link it down below. And in case you would like to learn how you can master AI content creation, we also have a brand new course called AI Yourself, where we show you everything there is to know about creating content with AI. Also, what I showed you here with VO3, and we're also showing you a couple of other tools how you can clone yourself. So really, really cool, really in-depth program. And again, I will also link that down below. But huge thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.